Now, before we get to the video, if you're new to the channel, I wanted to let you know that we try to stay up to date on all things 3D printing, from filament and printer reviews to in-depth slicer analysis, as well as a plethora of how-to videos. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified every time we post a new video. Hey guys, Technivorous here. Yesterday in my full Ender 3 review, we discussed its capabilities as far as layer heights in terms of minimum and maximum, so today I printed a few test cubes. I wanted to show you guys the difference. So here we have our three cubes, ordered by layer height from smallest to largest. On the left is the 0.1 millimeter, in the center is 0.2 millimeters, and the right is the 0.4 millimeters. So let's take a minute to examine each one a little closer. This first one is the 0.1 millimeter layer height. It came out super smooth and is the best looking by far. The layer lines are nearly invisible and the definition is great. This is absolutely an acceptable model, except that 0.1 millimeter layers, this tiny cube took about an hour and 10 minutes to print. So moving on. This one is the 0.4 millimeter layer height. Notice how the layer lines are extremely visible. This is fine for a mock-up or a rough draft, but in most cases, the definition is not high enough to produce prints of production quality. It was super fast, though, coming in complete at just over 18 minutes. Moving on again. And here we've come back to our middle model. This is the 0.2 millimeter layer height. This print took about 38 minutes, which is a happy medium. Notice how the layer lines are only slightly visible, and the lines can be sanded away in post-production, leaving a viable end product. The time was almost half of the 0.1 millimeter model's print time. It's also possible to print at heights between 0.1 millimeters and 0.4 millimeters, such as 0.16 millimeters or 0.24 millimeters, allowing for a greater range of options to find the best blend of quality and speed for your purposes. Well, that's it. Just a quick look at what to expect from print quality from your Ender 3 at different layer heights. We'll be testing print speed soon with a similar test to show you the difference between what the Ender 3 claims it can do and what it can actually do in a quality manner. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.